I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com, and this is your Saturday morning quick tip. Sea anemones and large polyps tony corals, also known as LPS corals, are fan favorites among reefers. Sea anemones and LPS both have tentacles that sway in the current of your tank, and the wider range of colors makes them very popular. And as you keep these sea anemones and LPS corals, keep this in mind. It's not uncommon for once, sometimes twice a day, for these sea anemones and corals to deflate fully deflate and, quite honestly, look like hell. For example, here's a Chicago Sunburst sea anemone in the daytime. It's happy as can be. It looks great. Who would want that in their tank? Here's the same sea anemone several hours later. It looks horrible. Now, at this point, most people freak out. They get on Facebook groups and say, oh no, what do I need to do? My sea anemone looks horrible. Here's what you do. Nothing. Let it do its thing. It's a natural thing once or twice a day for these corals and sea anemones to deflate. Give it time, it will probably inflate over the next course several hours, and it's something fun to watch. Now, you do need to get concerned if days on end, your sea anemone or your LPS coral doesn't inflate again. Then you have to start looking at water parameters. Is something picking on the coral, the sea anemone? That's when you get concerned. But keep an eye on your sea anemones and your LPS corals. Watch for that deflation and enjoy it. It's fun to watch them shrink back to nothing and then reinflate themselves. It's a fun part of reefing. It always makes the kids excited and it's something cool to show your friends. I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Till next time, enjoy your tanks, enjoy your deflation corals, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.